14-year-old grandson made the JV team at school. He's only one of three freshmen who made the squad. He's been told playing time will be limited and he's a little bummed. I told him it's a big accomplishment and he should make the most of his chance when it comes. He's used to being one of the top dogs on the team. Um, been one of his coaches up until this point. My experience is at every level right up until college. He works hard and he's earned this. But 72-year-old grandpa is a little lost as to what more to offer. That's a, that's a really, really good point there. And I think a lot of kids are going through that right now because high school tryouts yeah. just happened. You know, there's guys getting bumped up to varsity. They're getting bumped up to JV. And, you know, maybe they've played travel up until this point and, you know, been one of the starters. And I actually just talked about it recently. We had our big, our big signing day here at Zone where we, you know, award all of the kids, baseball and softball players, moving on to play in college. And I had a similar talk with them because they're moving on to play in college. You know, they're going to be the freshman. They're going to be the, the young guy on the team. Again, young, young guy or girl on the team. And you've got to earn your stripes. And, you know, one message I would send, send your grandson is, you know, do whatever you got to do to help your team win today. And it's, it's challenging because it's not the role that he's used to, um, especially if he's used to being one of the top dogs. And I'm sure batting in the heart of the lineup, you know, start, starting out on, on defense every game. But you can learn a lot by getting bumped up to a higher tier. And, you know, we're all going to go through it. I, I went from batting third in college to batting eighth or ninth in pro ball. And I remember looking at the lineup card thinking to myself, man, like, mm -hmm. I'm not that good. I'm not as good as, you know, I was in college. And it, it was the same thing going from, you know, being a starter in high school to my freshman year. I was a backup at first, uh, my freshman year of college. And it all comes down to, uh, you know, showing up and being ready to play every day. Not, not pointing fingers, you know, let's not look at, I played shortstop, so I, I couldn't look at the shortstop that was starting and, you know, hope he's making errors or say, oh man, I wouldn't have struck out in that situation. It's what can I do to help my team win today? So I show up early, I'm, make, I'm carrying the ball bucket, I'm the first one on the field, I'm the last one to leave, I'm getting my early work in in the cages, and I'm trying to push all the guys around me. I think the, the thing that he can control right now is his attitude, his effort, his work ethic. He can show up with you know, those three things every single day, and weird things happen, right? Kids get hurt, kids get sick. There's gonna be a spot that opens up for him at some point, but he's gotta make sure he's ready for it. He can't uh, you know, sit at the end of the dugout because it's early in the season and just be bummed he's not playing. And uh, you know, I remember my, my, my freshman year of high school, I was playing JV as well. I was playing shortstop, and I thought I could have been playing varsity. But I wasn't. I was, I was starting, you know, on the JV team. And three weeks into the season, the shortstop got hurt or was academically ineligible. I forget what it was. And I got my, I got my start on varsity. And then I stayed there. So there will be spots that open up throughout the season. I think, you know, your grandson is, it's a challenge because it's a new role for him. But if he shows up with, with the right attitude and the right work ethic every day, I think, I think it'll pay off. A couple of years ago, uh, we, we had like a, it was like a pyramid that we did in one of our podcasts. And uh, it was T-ball around here. Sometimes there's only seven or eight kids on the team. They all make the team and they all play the infield, right? Then you go to rookie ball or minors. Now there's 12 players and they're all playing and they're all on the field. Now they go to middle school. Now there's 12 kids on the team, but only nine play, right? So now the higher you go in levels, the more guys are sitting. Now you have high school ball. Nine are playing and there's 25 kids on the team. In college, there's 35 kids on the team and only nine playing. And it just is almost like the better you get and the higher you go, the more you sit. Think about if you're on the LSU team or you're on Vanderbilt and you're on the college baseball team there, you're an absolute stud, right? But how many guys are actually sitting on the bench that were all Americans, they were first team all states, they were the best, <laughs> they were like the best in the country, but you're still, trying to figure out how to be a great teammate, how to support them, and hey, when your time comes, take full advantage of it and be the best teammate that you can be. That's what being part of a baseball team. Not everybody can play, there's only nine guys. So, you know, I, I think it's, it, it is really challenging and we see it all the time. Middle school, we have kids that sometimes don't even try out because they're afraid to get cut or they make the team but they're not starting so they leave and go somewhere else or do something different. It's like, man, just, just keep working hard like Coach Steve said. It, was e it could have been easy for him just to quit and stop playing when he thought he should have been the starting shortstop, but he proved that over time he was, and then he was a dominating shortstop. So it, it, it all works out. You just have to you know, keep on doing what you're doing. You're, you're saying great grandpa stuff, and you're, you know, it's just tough because there's no perfect pill or there's no perfect thing to say that's going to make him feel better. It's just 
time and being supportive and all those things. But the cream always rises to the top.